Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D cinematic title intro animation in After Effects. And I'll also show you how you can add cool and stylish gradient effects to the 3D text without using any third-party plugins. Also, you can download this project file from the link in the description below, so you can practice on your own or watch along with the video. Before moving forward, I'd like to inform you that now you can watch our videos in different languages, so I recommend watching in your native language to understand better. Alright, let's get straight to the tutorial. First, I create a new composition, give it a name whatever you want, and for your reference, I am using full HD resolution for this composition. Then, I select a text tool and write our text into the composition. And then I align it to the center of this comp. And then, I'm going to make this layer as a 3D layer by clicking this icon. By the way, if you don't see these icons or options over here, so simply go down bottom left corner of After Effects and click the toggle switches to see these options into the timeline and then click on this 3D icon to make this layer as a 3D layer. After that, I'm going to add a new camera into our scene. For your reference, I am using two mode camera. Also, the preset I select is 80 mm lens. Then click OK. Then go to the tool section and here I select this dolly towards cursor tool and then click and drag upwards to zoom in a bit like this. So our text size is increased, then I go to the 5 second mark and select the text layer and open its position property and add keyframe, then I go back to the first frame and change the Z value of this text layer like this. If I play the previews, you can see how the text is moving into our composition. Then I open the text properties and click on the animate icon and select the tracking option to add it into our properties and then we can change the tracking amount like this. So at a 5 second mark I add keyframe on the tracking option and then I scrub the timeline and then I change the tracking amount something like this around 50 and then I drag this keyframe to the first frame. So the tracking animation added into our text After that, I close the text property and again click on that icon. And this time I choose Enable Per Character 3D option. This option separate each letter and we can manipulate them individually. Then once again, I click this icon and this time I choose a rotation property. So now you can see we got a three different rotation properties. Now drag the time indicator at the five second mark and then add a keyframe to all rotation properties. Then scrub the timeline like this and then I change the Y rotation. As well as the X and Z rotation. But right now you can see our text is looking very thin. So I close this property option and then go to the geometry options. Here I can increase the extrusion depth value. But before that, make sure you check the advanced 3D options. Otherwise you won't see these geometry options in the text property. So I change the extrusion depth to around 15. And then I open the material options. And in the material options, I increase the specular shininess to 100 to get a metallic look. Then I press U on the keyboard to see all the keyframes. After that, I select Rotation Keyframes and drag it to the first frame. Let's check the preview. Right now, all the letters rotate at the same time in the same direction. And I want to add a randomness in these letters. So I open the text property once again and go to the animator one. And under the range selector one, I open the advanced options. And here you can find a randomized order option. Simply turn it on, so you got a new option called a random seed. Now we can increase this to get a randomness, but before that, 
change the shape option to triangle. And as I change the shape to triangle, you can see our text is randomly rotate in random directions. Now we can control the randomness by the changing the random seed property. So do experiment by yourself. It's depend on your text and your project. So I randomly put a random number in the random seed. That's look good to me. Once again, I press U on the keyboard to see all the keyframes of the text layer. And then I select all the keyframes and change these to Bezier keyframe. Then I open the graph editor and change the speed graph like this. So our text animation looking much better. After that, I am adding a new light into this timeline and I'm choosing environment light. Then I open the transform properties and then you can rotate the X and Y rotation of the light. Basically, you can control the light direction from these properties. After that, I select all the layers and pre-compose them. Name it as a text animation, check this box and click OK. After that, I am adding a new solid layer into this comp. Name this layer as a gradient and then I search an effect called four color gradient and apply to this layer. Then I click this transparency icon. So our text looks like this and then we can change the mode like overlay or any other modes. So it will give a gradient effect on our 3D text layer, how. And you can experiment by yourself by changing the modes of this gradient layer, whatever looks good for you. But I set it as a stencil alpha for now. Now we can change the color gradient points as well to enhance the look. After that, I search effect called leaf color and add it to this gradient layer. Then I change to the white color. And if I increase the amount, so you can see, it will change the color to white. So I scrub the timeline where the animation is finished and then I change the amount to 100% and add a keyframe. Then I go back a few frames and change the amount to zero. So we got some subtle color changing effect on our text. After that, I am adding a new adjustment layer into our timeline. After that, I add a glow effect into this layer and change the glow radius to 20 and change glow threshold to around 85% to get a subtle glow effect on our text. After that, I add another effect called noise and then I increase the noise amount and I uncheck the Use Color Noise option as well. Now it's time to import a dust particle video footage into After Effects. After that, I select all the layers and pre-compose them and name it as a text style. Check this box and click OK. Then I am adding dust particle video into Timeline. Also make this as a 3D layer, then at 4 second mark, I add a keyframe on its position properties, then go back to first frame and change the Z value of this layer to match the text animation. Then I select both keyframes and easy ease them. Then I go to the graph editor and change the graph like this to match the text movements. And lastly, I animate the opacity values of the dust video layer to fade it out. Let's see the final preview. So that's how you can create a cinematic 3D title intro in After Effects and add a stylus gradient on 3D text. So that's it for now. See you in the next video.